right, so I rescued this big 20-gallon uh, tank. It's tall from my mom's barn. Um, I think it was a fish tank we had, I don't know, forever ago. I mean, it's pretty, pretty dirty, um, but it has a good lid with it, and I'm going to clean it up. I think the bottom will still hold water. The top has a few cracks. I noticed a crack. Where was it? Oh, there it is. It's over here on this side. So there's a couple of cracks up high on the tank, but it's a deep tank, and I think I'm going to use it and try to set up kind of a nicer hermit crab habitat with it. Um, I'm going to have to give it a good scrub and try to get some of that hard water stain off. You can see the size difference between the two. Um, the cage they're in right now and the one that we're moving them into. So, I mean, it's going to be a huge upgrade. Um, I got it cleaned up. There's a few places I still couldn't get some of the hard water off, but um, I think once I get it all set up, it's going to look great. So, back to work. This is what I use um, as a substrate. You want at least three inches of substrate on the bottom of your tank. Because sand is really heavy, I used about 10 pounds of sand, of, of clean sand, and then I mixed it with um, shredded coconut. So this is a little bit lighter. Um, it still holds moisture really well. It's still easy for them to, bur to burrow into. Um, and I just like it a lot better. I like the texture and I like the way it looks better than just plain sand or plain coconut, which is what I've got them in right now. And we've got a little bit of a problem because one of my stinkers, um, and I'm not able to show you very good, but he's in the process of molting. He just buried himself and is in the process of molting. You can kind of see a little bit of ground kind of pushed up right there. So he's in the ground. So I'm not gonna be able to move them into this new tank. Um, I'll move his buddies, the other guys over here, um, but I won't be able to move the molting one until he comes back up on his own because it's not safe. Their bodies are really, really soft. Um, and any kind of movement of him could seriously hurt him or kill him. So. Um, I'll get his buddies moved out and put into the new tank, and then when he comes out of his little burrow, he'll get moved in with the others. So he'll just he'll just keep the old tank for his uh, little hospital tank for now. I mean, I actually use this tank, usually this little um, pet carrier for when they're molting, but he didn't show any signs, and then all of a sudden he's just burrowed. So I I don't want to bug him, and I don't want him. Um, disturb him so I'm gonna leave him in there and just move the others into the new tank and then move him in later so back to all right so here's the temporary setup um, I'm gonna do some artificial rock uh, landscaping to uh, kind of give it some more height but I'm gonna have to do that later I was kind of in a hurry to get these boys out before they went after the little one who's burrow down because they will eat um they will eat each other if they're not removed um so there's the tank that's my big guy hi buddy he's like he's not so so sure about this new location i think the little one's already gone inside and hidden but uh fresh water on one side a little salt water on the other side and Lots of places for them to climb and to hide because they love to hide and burrow down. So there's a couple little hiding places. Um, once I get the the faux rock done, the big landscape, um, I'll do another video on that because that's going to increase their their range as well. It's like going to like more than double the floor space. So 
That'll be pretty cool. So they're going to go explore now. But all right. Thanks for watching, everyone.